Hi, if you're a Lightroom Cloud user, then this video is for you. Maybe you find it difficult to manage your quotas on your Lightroom Cloud account. Maybe you wish you had more space, and maybe you make all sorts of compromises uh, which make your situation hard to manage. I am Mathieu from Syme, and today I will show you how Picto can help you construct a strategy between assets that are in the cloud and assets that are on drive locally without losing the ability to see all your images in one app and without losing the ability to search through all your images. If you're ready to see what kind of workflows you can build around Lightroom with Picto, let's dive in. So we will start our exploration uh, of Picto for Lightroom with uh, a brand new database. So this is uh, how I am greeted by Picto when I launch it for the first time. And I'm going to attach my Lightroom Cloud account simply by clicking on this button. So I can now connect my Lightroom account. It opens the standard Lightroom Adobe And now Picto is uh, processing my Lightroom Cloud account. So this will take a little while until all my images are, are integrated in Picto. After a few minutes of uh, data crunching, my um, Lightroom library is now available in Picto. If I open my structure tab, I can see my, my albums here and uh, uh, the various uh, images that I have. Um, and of course, this library behaves as uh, any other library in my system. I can uh, run searches. Uh, I can use my suggestion here, for example, to find all the images taken on that day, etc., etc. I have a fairly limited number of images in uh, in this Lightroom catalog, just for the the purpose of the of the demo. Now, what I'm going to do is I I will uh, mix this uh, currently this only source that I have with uh, other Lightroom catalogs. So I'm going to go and pick some more catalogs here. So they are currently ingesting. And while, while they do so, um, I'm just going to uh, recap how, how Lightroom uh, Cloud works inside of Picto as of now. Um, it's a source as all the others, so you can uh, synchronize it, you can uh, rebuild missing thumbnails, you can compute missing things if, if they are. Uh, you can run smart ingest that if you want to capture all the changes that happened, for example, images that were removed or images that were added. Um, and it's going to check for updates um, in a very similar way as it does for the other apps. It is a little bit less optimized than uh, than uh, Lightroom Classic, as we have to talk to the server, we have to find what what has changed, and it's sensibly more um, time consuming for now. And we're going to work to to improve that uh, over the next uh, few releases. So here I am now with uh, a number of. Uh, uh, Lightroom Classic catalogs and my Lightroom Cloud catalog. So already this is a, a situation that is um, that is fairly unique and that Picto allows you to uh, to have is to mix and match in the same view all of your Lightroom data. Let's also take a moment to see how all the data that I have in this uh, Lightroom Cloud uh, catalog that I'm I'm displaying right now has been properly transferred to uh, to Picto. So if I look at my album structure here, I have a folder with uh, two albums. Um, there's one album called Iceland with 27 images, and I can see how, how those images have been, uh, for some of them, edited, and also have been annotated with stars. If I go back to uh, Picto and, and go back to Lightroom Cloud, I see the same uh, structure here pick my Iceland and just show all tags. I will see the the, the same uh, color rating, see a four star, five stars for those uh, two images, uh, properly reflected. What I'd like to, 
to show now is how you can use Pictor to um, handle situations that are sometimes a little bit difficult when you have quotas on the cloud and, and you start reaching those quotas and you you start having to make choices about whether you you move plan, whether you buy more space or whether you actually move things uh, from out of the cloud into a, a local storage and, and then lose this ability to see things uh, um, in, in a consolidated way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to assume that we have reached our quota and that there are a number of images that we will want to offload from the cloud. So I've said I've created a <clears throat> I've created an album here with a number of images that I'm going to move out of the cloud and I want to move them in, in a local catalog in, and I'm going to move them into a new Lightroom Classic catalog that I've just created for that purpose, which is currently empty and which is called Offload from Cloud. So I'm going to add it to Picto. It's currently empty, there's no image in it. I'm going to pick to export those images out of the cloud and I'm going to choose original plus settings. I'm going to keep the original um, file names and I'm going to export them. So what I will do is I will put them in that same area. I'm going to create a folder. For the purpose of the demo but of course you you would probably uh, want to structure that because it's going to be your repository on locally for those images so i'm going to export uh, those images and this is going to take uh, a few minutes because it's going to download from the cloud and uh, and save it on disk so i will also offload a number of uh, images that have been edited and for which I have also set some uh, flags. Here you can see there is an image that has been rejected. Uh, a number of images have uh, pretty intense edits here. Um, they've been annotated. So I'm going to take them all as well. And I'm going to do the same operation. Export. Original plus setting in the same location. Bear in mind that downloading large amounts of data from Adobe's cloud can take a, a little while, so you have to be patient. But um, it will eventually finish. And uh, so here I am with my offload area now filled with uh, those downloaded images. And you notice that some of them come with an XMP file that contains uh, the various edits that were made or even annotations. So I'm going to launch my offload from cloud catalog that is currently empty. I'm going to add those images that, are, that I've just offloaded into the catalog. I hit the import button in Lightroom Classic. And now all these images are coming in and they are coming in with uh, with their edits. It takes uh, a little while, you see that the standard previews are being built, so uh, the images have not their final aspect here yet, but uh, it, uh, it will happen. And so all those edits that I made in uh, Lightroom Cloud, in Lightroom on the cloud, are now uh, available in Classic. All right, so at this stage, I can go back to to Lightroom and I can delete those images from the cloud to reclaim the space that they take. I'm not going to do it, but um, essentially that's the work. That's the workflow. So the previews are are now finished. So now I have uh, these images locally. And uh, if I go back to Picto, it tells me that uh, uh, this offload uh, uh, from cloud catalog has changed. So I'm going to sync it. Of course, this catalog doesn't have the um, 
doesn't have the structure the the albums and and of the of the original um, but i do get the images with their uh, annotations so here i have my star ratings that are back i have the the previews that are coming from from lightroom uh, so everything is uh, is in, in in order in that catalog so just to summarize i've taken uh, a selection of images from the cloud um, maybe older images maybe images that i don't need to have in the cloud because i don't want to access them from my phone or for whatever reason uh, i can select them group them export them back on on locally on my uh, on a drive somewhere organize those images into folders uh, create a lightroom classic catalog with those images maintaining all the edits that i have maintaining all the annotations through the xmp file and because i'm going from lightroom to lightroom all the edits that i've done in the cloud are perfectly understood on the device uh, in classic and i get uh, the same rendering for those images and then i i just add that catalog in my picto library so using this strategy, I can selectively keep some images in Lightroom Cloud and bring back some others in separate catalogs, in the same catalog, in the same master catalog, uh, organize them the way I want, while always maintaining this complete view of all my content, uh, whether on the cloud or whether local. Uh, this is possible because Picto can access all those data sources seamlessly. I hope this video helped you understand how Picto can open up new perspectives when it comes to managing your images in Lightroom. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. As always, the comments area is for you below to ask questions, make comments, or request additional information. That's all for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.